This is one of the places in the Caribbean that Gauguin would really love. It's a far remote place in a cave with the ocean full of mystery and secrets. His working technique would be not such a mystery. It would be a process and he would stick to the process. At first, he would go around the island and collect some things that impress him. And out of the th things, he is taking some symbols. Symbols that are full of meaning. Meaning for a mystery or something that he wants to express. In the next step, he would take some of these symbols that he collected and put it together to some scratches. The scratches are not picture-like, like a photography on a snapshot, but they are full of meaning because first he was collecting not things, but symbols, symbols with a meaning. And these meanings are put together to a new context in a new picture. In the next step, he would try some color designs. These color designs he's doing mostly with watercolors because it's a quick way to find out which colors are, are working together, which not. And also you can see the structure of the picture very well uh, already with the watercolors. The next step is unusually acrylic because he is putting over his design a git and transforming his first scratches to the canvas and then all the outlines are made again with Prussian blue. The next step is to work all the colors that I already have in my uh, color designs. I'm working not with big spaces to make the um, sky blue, but from one focus point to the outside. Now I'm finishing the picture, but the best part about the Gauguin picture is that it has to be unfinished. It is still an adventure. It is still part of this mystery of the Caribbean. Something raw, something dangerous, something mysterious. I hope this little demonstration could interest you in a Gauguin painting adventure. Because painting like Gauguin is not on, uh, only about making pictures but it's also a lifestyle, a dangerous adventurous lifestyle and that's what I love about it.